last time on me grading every NASCAR driver's season, well, not counting people that take one from the time, I made it this far but ran out of time. So today we're going to do the final one. Ten drivers. Well, we're gonna be a little bit of a short video, but oh well. Chris Buescher. Yeah, had an okay season. I'm gonna give him a B minus. This season was okay. It's definitely probably it's definitely better than probably one of his better seasons. But. That's by his standards. Chase Elliott, the champion, easily an A+. I don't know how you can't give the person who won the championship an A+. Alex Bowman. I'm going to give this person, I'll give Alex Bowman a B+. It's not a B+. Nice. He, he did not have a very good summer stretch. But yeah, however, he did have a good... Start to the season, won it at our club. Ran pretty decent in the um in the playoffs. Made it to the NRA. Pretty nice season. William Byron. Scored his first career win. But however, was eliminated in the first round. Even though at best he should have made it to the round of twelve. C plus. Jimmy Johnson. All of the season kinda was better than last year. He still didn't make the playoffs. He, unfortunately, he didn't get the send off he deserved. But you ain't good in his final race. I'll give him a C. Matt DiBenedetto just barely made the playoffs and. You know, and we already know he's only going to be in that 21 gun for one more year. Yeah, and then he's out. I'm going to give him a B minus. Since we now know he's only going to be there for one more year. But Wallace, he had probably the most. Okay, we're going to the final four drivers. But Wallace had probably the most. Insane season. He had his best statistical season, but however, the off track issue was so insane. Like, I'm gonna give him an eighth. He definitely gave, he definitely had, statistically, he gave Richard Petty, probably, RPM, probably their best season in a while. He had his best statistical season, gained a lot of sponsors. And he kind of became an icon. Michael McDowell, I'm going to give him a C. He, he had a better 2020 than 2019 season on his standards. He finished higher than his rookie teammate, John Nemechek. He's ran okay this year. And so, give him a C. Corey LaJoy, he's not returning to front row motorsports. His season was a lot like last year, except he had a lot of mechanical issues. I'm going to give him a D. And last, but not least, Daniel Suarez. I'm going to give him a C+. Plus. His first year, not so great equipment. Okay. He definitely gave Grunt Brothers probably their best season. And. Uh, and considering the fact he was not in very good equipment. I mean, I know he didn't even make the Daytona 500, but. Considering the fact that equipment should probably be not even inside the top 30 in points. Wait, what did he finish in points? Okay, he only finished 31st in points, 
But however, they ran much better than they did last year. Last year, they just barely made the top 30 in owner's points. And their driver, last year, didn't even run full-time. Their first full-time year, and now it's not very good. And don't get me wrong. wrong. They didn't make the make the Daytona 500. 100. Not that it was, it was their fault. They got wrecked. I'll give him... I'm give him a C plus. He's definitely gonna have, he's gonna have a performance upgrade. He's going to I believe it's called Trackhouse Motorsports. I don't remember the name of it. But it's gonna be in an alliance with Richard Children's Racing, which as we see in this year with Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick running really good. He, I think he will definitely have a better year than, than this year. I don't think he's going to make the playoffs. I don't think he's going to win a race. I expect him to run maybe in the top 25 in points. I really don't know at this rate. So, anyways, let me just check. That is me grading every driver's 2020 season. Again, this is not fully my idea, as I mentioned in part one. I got this idea from Eric Eastep's videos. Links will be in the description in part one and part two. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later. But before I go, I do want to mention something. This is probably going to be the last upload for a while. As y'all know, I'm, as you should probably know, I do have school, so, and that's really taking away time from this channel, so, there might be a period where I do not upload much, man, and there's actually, this is most likely be my last video for a while, I'm trying to upload, well, from time to time, but it's probably gonna be very spread out. Like it's been for a few months now. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.